Hey everybody, it's Rob from Vanguard Realty Alliance. Today I'm gonna to talk about why 2021 is going to be the opposite of a housing crash. I've got three reasons for you that I'm gonna go through. Let's look at the data and talk about why 2021 is not gonna have a housing crash. In fact, it's gonna be the opposite of a housing crash. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna be referencing this article, three reasons we're definitely not in a housing bubble. And let's talk about that because people are talking about, hey, the prices go up, they gotta come down, right? Uh, and not necessarily because, I mean, if you think about it, like how much would the house cost in 1996? Are housing prices ever going back to that level? I don't really think so. So there's a lot of inflation happening in the housing market, but the question really is, is this a bubble or is this a fundamentals driven price increase? So let's talk about why I think it's a fundamentally driven price increase and Let's go through this article here. So this time housing supply is extremely limited. So we talk about months of inventory in terms of real estate. What that means is like, if they didn't put another house on the market, how long would it be until the housing market cleared all the inventory off the shelf basically? Right now that is at 1.9 months, which is the lowest it has ever been. I'll show you a quick graph on that. So here's a graph of the inventory. I mean, when you look at this, it is just going down, 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 down. And we've gotten squeezed and squeezed and squeezed. So even if people in forbearance maybe start distress selling or more people start selling as COVID opens up, there is still a lot of room to run in terms of how much demand there is out there versus how much supply. So the supply and demand is very strong in terms of pushing up pricing. And that's why we're really seeing the prices being pushed up. It's just there's really a lot of buyers fighting over houses. We're talking number two here, this time housing demand is real. I'm sort of talking about that. But there's really, you know, a lot of people are, have availability to credit. This demand is really no joke. I'm out in the field dealing with it. <laughs> it's hard. And also this time households have plenty of equity. So it's not like the prices are blowing up and people are taking out you know, 100% loan to value, home equity loans, and if the prices dip a little bit, they're forced to sell. It's really a lot different. There's a lot of people, owner occupied, 38% free and clear, meaning they don't have any mortgage. I think a large percentage of people have 56.7% have a minimum of 50% equity. So there's, <laughs> there's a lot of reasons why we're not really in a housing bubble. In fact, I think in terms of an asset class, it's gonna be a relatively safe asset class over the next couple of years, for sure, as um, you know, if there's inflation, for sure. I've done another video on that in terms of how owning housing and inflation is really a good thing. But yeah, so we've got limited supply, a really strong demand, and households have plenty of equity. So there's really not like a pop that's going to happen because even if more inventory came on the market per se, or even if interest rates go up a little bit, we're still at like a record low inventory with a very high demand. So even then we just maybe normalize prices or possibly stabilize prices. Don't see anything like popping, if that makes sense. So full disclaimer, I mean, obviously this is just my opinion, not financial advice and all that good stuff. But what are we going to expect in 2021 if we're not going to have a bubble and it's not going to burst? I mean, what I'm seeing out in the field is that prices are going up as people are competing over the small amount of available houses. And this has the sellers in the driver's seat. So it's a great time to sell a house. Will this continue like this, this hot? I don't know that it's sustainable, but maybe it is. Maybe we're entering a new era of just intensity in terms of what it's like to buy a house. It's hard to say how long it will go. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. We're gonna see probably a really strong housing market in 2021. So far, it's off to a strong start. I can tell you that much just from competing for houses with buyers. We do, you have to fight, kick and scream to get a deal. You're going way above asking, waiving inspections, everything you gotta do. So it's the opposite of a crash. <laughs> um, but hey, you know, I'm just a guy with an opinion, so. <laughs> but the data backs me up. Thanks so much for checking out my video. If you got any questions for me uh, in terms of what it's really like out there in the real estate market, especially in Pennsylvania, definitely happy to answer your questions. Just put them in the comments below or shoot me an email. All my details are in the description. Thanks.